Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Capital uh, Improvement Committee meeting of April 10th, 2023. Uh, one of the things we're very happy to see, uh, and uh, most of us have had the time to go through it, is the property condition assessment that was done from TRC, uh, Environmental Corporation. Uh, the, uh, this uh, project site was the Acton Town Hall uh, complex, and it is available for everybody online. If you go to townofacton.org and do a little hunting, uh, you can find it. It's not difficult to find. So um, I encourage you to do that. It's very enlightening, very, very enlightening. Uh, it's going to be subject to our conversations tonight. And um, we, Cattle Improvement is very happy about this. Last year, if you remember, at the town meeting, for the first time, we put through an article asking the select board to put it through for us. You know, you can't just write an article. You need the selectmen to give you, you know, their uh, uh, stamp of approval, and they're okay. And they did, and the town uh, voted to give us the money to have this assessment done. And uh, I think as you read it, you're gonna see things that, uh, things we didn't think about, things we knew, but some very interesting things. So, anyway. Um, yeah, I think it was a good investment, I do, after reading. I was somewhat, you know, um, Doubtful, you know, mm -hmm. just because of the ten thousand dollar price tag on it, but you know, it really does um, um, give a good picture of at least the financial cost, and you know, more probably more importantly, the recommended upgrades, you know, to bring yeah. us into the you know twenty twenty three and beyond, if you will. You uh, yeah, oh, yeah, over over ten years, if you really look at it. Uh, it's going to give you quite a bit. Uh, if you go to uh, page five, it gives you a pretty good synopsis of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you're going to have to excuse me for one minute. I have no idea why, but every time I come to a meeting here, I get the broken chair. Oh, here. No, no, I got another one No, no, one please, right please, here. please. No, no, take this. This is fine. Here. That one, I'm... I like broken chairs. Uh, here, I'm here. sitting on the floor. Yeah, now, if I fall over... <laughs> will we, am I insured? Fall over, we'll have a good chuckle, and then we'll see if you're okay. All <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> At least we'll have a good laugh, yeah. We'll have a good laugh. Okay. But, but do excuse me. I, right. no, I end good. up with my chair, my chin on the table. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that. No, no. no. But, um... Taking this into consideration, and I think most of you have a copy of last year's report that we gave to the selectmen. And um, Joe, would you happen to have yours here? I don't know about that. Okay. Um. It's this one. Oh, I think I do. Yeah. Okay. I think I might have it. Um, this one. It is that one. All right, cool. Yeah. So, Joe, if you don't have it, I'll give you I, this one. I didn't bring all my bundles. Uh, I know. Um, here, here, Joe. Here. Use that one, Joe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do have it in there. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So, I thought what we could do is start building our report. Okay. Okay. Um, and. Uh, yeah, here it is. But taking this into consideration, you know, and taking also into consideration the, the reports we have from the people you all have interviewed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and, and go from there. So. Uh, I also, Joyce, I also have a, uh, in my file here. I have a uh, four dollars off uh, CVS. Yeah. I think it might be. I think it's still good. <laughs> Would you like that? Oh boy! Look at that. 
Is it expired? Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to do... And I have some of my school notes in there. I don't know how the heck those you got, got a in whole there. bunch of things. I must have been cleaning up in a hurry or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Scrap paper. Scrap paper. There you go. So anyway, um, what we have here is... Uh, well, let's let's start with what we have right in front of us with the, with this. We know we went to the fire department, and um, if you'll see last year, there were things on it that will not show up on this year's budget at all. What one of the things we know that they really are in desperate need for is in fact a. Um, telephone system that takes messages. Now, I do believe that is going to be on this year's budget. Is it going to be a warrant or...? or? That should, that it should be. Yeah. I believe it is going to be a, a part of it. None of us have seen the warrant yet, so it makes us, um, it makes it a bit difficult uh, to actually know. The other thing um, that we do know from this, and I think it should be in our report, is they are going to, things they're going to need are um, another engine. Okay, An another engine in 2025. It's only two years from now, mm -hmm. you know. So I think it would be wise of us to put that in our report. Uh, the, the ambulance. And the ambulance needs to go in our report. Now, the utility is way out there. Uh, the other engine is way out there. And I think we just have to leave it to the chief to let us know when the truck, the forestry truck or utilitarian truck, whatever they call it, uh, when it's more expensive than it's worth. You know, that'll be, yeah. they can let us know that. So based on last year's report, would you say it's safe to say that we're looking at a million dollars for the ambulance in a new equipped yep. fire engine? Absolutely. Now, the other thing that that was not on here. And do we have, does the town have that money now? The town has money now, but that's all part of this great big ball that we're holding right now. Okay. That not all decisions have been made. But we have it, we, the town it. has it, if, if the town. If, if, okay. if something happened tomorrow, the town has money to buy an ambulance. Okay. Or, 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 or an a fire, fire engine, okay. You know. We're looking it's, at a million. But, you know, <clears throat> that's what that is. I okay. think the others go off. Now the other thing, well, the last time I talked to, and it was a former chief, Chief Smith, not Chief Ham, is um, they, one of the things, it works together. Chief Ham would like to have paramedics, EMTs, something of that nature, first responders, 24-7 at the fire department. That's going to be an increase in pay, which we don't need to really be, you know, that's, that's an employment thing, that's a Board of Selectmen mm -hmm. thing, they can do that. But what Chief Smith had told me, sleeping quarters are uh, an issue. Mm -hmm. They have one room on, on that main floor when you walk in that is set aside for a, uh, a female. And it's very nicely done up, and it has a fake window, because there is no window in that room, <laughs> okay? It has one of those little thingies that looks like a window, you know, with the flowers and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Perhaps that's not, that's something we can look forward to making sure we have proper mm -hmm. Do we have the, Do we have the space? That's yeah, probably the problem, building. right? I know he was talking about, when I spoke with him about, you know, it's not just quarters for the fire department staff 
but also you know when things happen and you know you got you, I'm sure you've seen all the CMP trucks get staged there or yeah. people assisting them when right. they have outages and stuff you know so they it would be yeah good if we had enough space for them also yeah because when stuff happens it's not usually a quick ordeal it's yeah <laughs> has anybody thought about um <clears throat> potentially um i mean you can get some great great used or even new um rv uh travel trailers that sleep you know six to eight people it's basically a house on wheels cool. that can be parked there maybe even tied into the existing uh, water and sewer. Well, I'm sure it could, and electrical. But if we don't have the space in the building, doesn't matter, you know, we're talking about having to put on an addition well, and building all we, this stuff. We have the, the ambulance <clears throat> building, which is not really being used, except by our deputy from, you know, the York County Sheriff's Department. He now has a, a, a room there that he uses as an office. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I don't know a lot about that building, and I know there are people out there in TV land that do, sure, I think it but I yeah. do know that it needs some work. Mm -hmm. um, I, mean, I, I think at the end of the day, just I think Chief Ham has some ideas in mind about what he would like to do, and you know I think it's not a bad suggestion to say a portable of yeah. Some type. Uh, yeah. Even if it's uh, if it is easily movable, well, that, we don't have the room to keep it there. We could it could be stored on at some other facility and just dragged in when needed. Right. Yeah. And it could also be, um, you know, to your point exactly, it could also be something that you know you could it could be hooked up to and brought to a, a location that there's going to need to be continuous, you know, supervision yeah. or on site. And, you know, if you look at, okay, if I was going to remodel a kitchen or a bathroom, you know, in today's dollars, you know, not high end, it's going to cost you 25, 30 grand. So this, <clears throat> these units or, or one unit, it would have a kitchen, it would have a microwave, it would have an oven, it would have a bathroom, it would have everything that person needs to, or people, you know, you could fit, like easily fit, I would say four, let's just say four comfortably. Yeah. But, and, and again, it's a mobile unit and it doesn't involve permits and getting hiring contractors. It's there, it could be put in the parking lot and um, it, it would be easy accessible. That's so. very good, very good. In fact, it's so good. I think you should write a paragraph. On, okay. On it because All right, I'll that do that. Way, I will do that. And, and Wayne, you know, you've talked to them and all. You know what it is. And if you two could, um, you know, reach to each other, sure. and we can we can put that on our list because that plan does go out 15 years. So whatever we're saying, we are going to say. This is what we need now because we've talked to people. We've talked to the departments. Sure. This is what they need. And in some cases, this is what they want. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. big difference between needs and wants, but let's see what we can do. Yeah. Um, before you all got here, Wayne made a remark about whether he liked it or not, Acton's growing. And I didn't get the chance to say to him, because you guys walked in, I can remember when you could drive from here to Sanford and meet one car on the road I, any given day of the week, you know. <laughs> right. I mean. I remember counting on one hands when I first moved up here. How many cars went by my house? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you lived here, bud? Uh, I moved up here. I had my, uh, my ex-wife buy while I was over on deployment in yeah. 2010. Oh, right on. Um, what branch were you in? Uh, Army Guard. Okay. I was a Marine Corps. Thank you for your service. Like I, I was in uh, Desert Storm. Yeah, back in 91. I was over with the troop surge in 2010. 2010, yeah. Right on. But, uh, I mean, I've been coming up here since before that. I used to have a friend that lived over on H Road, and, and we were raising all kinds of trouble when we were growing up, so. Yeah. But... 
Yeah, no, it's it's changed a lot over the years and, yeah. and pretty but rapidly it, it's, in it's the last five. It's going to keep <laughs> yeah. changing. Yeah, it's going to keep changing. Yeah, there's a lot of building going on everywhere. There's, there's you know. so much going on here. But anyway, let's see if we can come up with it. And the thing we have to remember is a lot of these things we're talking about, I, I want people to get serious about it. There's money for infrastructure out there. There's an... an Define in infrastructure, you know, define what that is. And there's other money that we know about from U.S. Uh, DA, DA yeah. that we will include in our thing. And Gary's going to fill us in on that. But getting back to this, um, when it comes to the uh, fire department, I think this is pretty much what we're going to to uh, to look for, and we are going to put the phone uh, system in, even though that's been talked about. And I believe they're going to look with at the company that did the last install of what they have now, because mm -hmm. they know where the you know the what the where the what and the why for. Sure. And so they'd be a good one. But I know I believe our town managers. Uh, uh, town administrator is doing that and um, I think Jennifer was here when the first one was put in so I'm sure she's doing it very well um, okay. anyway now we've we've got um, again the uh, information on the cost of these things is from Fenton fire and firefireinsider.com I mean, uh, to go out to different companies is one thing, but, you know, going to kind of their, these two places, you get a good idea in numbers. Now, when it gets to the town hall, the next one on our list, the municipal properties, now that we have this uh, report from TRC, You'll see there's only one. It's 3.2.8, which is immediate. And that is, if you look here at 3.2.8, it tells you exactly what that is. You're talking page numbers or sections? Section. Uh, okay. Yeah, section. <laughs> Not millions. No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's three. I have to take this apart to read it properly. Yeah, it's on page uh, 17. 17, yeah. okay. Utilities. Under yeah. utilities, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now, there, there's some question about the... Um, septic system there which should be fine but it is the domestic water at the property by the wells um, recent test of the water quality indicates level of uh, chloride and other eons outside of the EPA standards this water of course is not used for drinking water and we are going to have a new treatment system installed in the coming months but that's got to stay on the forefront we, we, yeah. we have to make sure that that happens um, like you we know put this on that last year as well it was on last year as well uh, and I ask you a question are they going to use the same well that's out there I don't know what they're going to use for a well um, so Sounds like there was kind of like a water filtration system. Yeah, from what I understand. Is there any sort of uh, maintenance policy as far as maintaining the the the, the, the driveway during the snowstorms that, that well, the, initially the, polluted the well? I mean, like I understand that uh, there is the, there there is if we go back to that page. When they're talking about all of that, the parking lots and 
paving, curving, and parking lot is in very poor condition, okay? The um, access and egress is in poor condition. Now, to me, that's telling me that not, it all is one thing, okay? If, if this is your door, an mm -hmm. exit right here, you've got about a two foot step down yeah. to go to the edge of the building. If someone's in here in a wheelchair, we're out of luck. This one goes down a staircase. Again, if you're fine, that's good. But, you know, if you're not, that doesn't work either. So I think that's all something that needs to be um, really quickly well, it's, put on the forefront. Yeah, it's a joke. We've got to do, we've, uh, excuse me. I'm I didn't sorry. mean to cut you off. No, no, go ahead. No, I cut you off. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Joe, how much money did the um, town put aside at town meeting for the parking lot? Forty. I thought it was 70 and it might have been incurred 75. See, well, but, the, but there was no plan and then Yeah, I, there was no there was no plan. Are they going to grind it and then the the problem is that the the, the parking lot above what the town the church parking lot is all broken up also. Mm -hmm. So it it be fixing one and then all of a sudden have this disaster right above it and all the water comes down. You also have a water situation where the water comes off that hill and goes everywhere. So it, okay. it's, it's a matter of grading too. It's a, it's a difficult thing because it's, it's, it's a can that's been pushed down for the years and, and nobody addressed it. It's kind of like they put band-aids on it. And right. So would a water filtration system um, solve our problem? And I don't know. For okay. the drinking water? Yeah, for the drinking water. I don't know because you, you have, you've had a well out here Right. Go and, and then they moved it, right? No, excuse me. There's, yeah. there's already a well there that's polluted. Okay. They went across the thing toward the uh, war memorial. They put another one. Okay, so when they put the... I've, I've seen this much, this much salt in the parking lot on, on some of the icier days. This much. Just like whatever. Yeah. So there's no policy involved. And naturally it leaches and it's got to go somewhere. It's got, it all goes downhill, so... I really think for all of those because that seventy thousand was put aside. Uh, I'm going to say twenty twenty, just before COVID shut us down. Right. Well, they had all that extra money. They, well, they well, be, be that as it yeah. may, that seventy thousand. But what they didn't have was a plan. No, they don't have anything. Well, that's the problem. Well, they didn't have a plan, and now I think. It might be wise if capital improvement says our suggestion, because that's what we do. We're supposed to give our suggestions and advice. Would be to take some of that seventy thousand mm -hmm. and get an engineering company here. I think that initially, what the, they have initially, well, with this appraisal of this building, it was it was mentioned, and then. Just the last meeting or so, somebody mentioned about taking some of that seventy thousand dollars for something else that was related to the parking lot. I can't remember what it was. So I, I was trying to think back the other day. So we could go back and look at it. We'll time. have to go back and look at it because yeah. I, I, I could be wrong. I was wrong once in nineteen seventy nine, but you know, You're could mistaken. do it again. You, you know, were, you were just mistaken. I was just mistaken. But I am under the opinion that when the town votes a certain amount of money for a certain uh, item, that that's what that money is supposed to be used for. Correct. You, you but, can't but take it from time, no, Peter to Paul. This is the oversight of the whole thing. I'm saying, oh, how, do they really need 70? Do they really need 90? I've heard that if we do this here, we're going to need this back and forth. So there's no plan involved in the whole well, thing. Well, that, that's, 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 what, I'm, that's what I'm getting yeah. to. If there's no plan involved, then the first thing you need is a plan. Right. And you need to get one of these companies here, whether it's an engineering company or one of these big contractors yeah. that goes in and puts in... Uh, some drains, some culverts. Yeah, or drains, yeah. culverts, parking lots in in areas that are not really conducive 
to parking lots because they are at, I mean, I couldn't even guess the elevation from 109 up to the church. I, could, I couldn't even guess what that might be. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. I mean, I'm just looking out the window here at the, I don't know whose truck that is. And uh, I mean, if you get a heavy rain, it's all coming right to the building. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty obvious, you know, you don't need a level. You see, that's where the mold was, it's always on that side there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, I, yeah, I don't know, I mean, my, my thoughts are we don't need an engineering firm to tell us what's wrong. Um, I would say an asphalt company, maybe Tang or somebody come out here an excavation company to one of, one of the big guys that yeah that, that you know is going to be responsible if right. they if they get the contract if we're serious about it um that's going to make the proper recommendations and you know french drains or culverts or whatever right. to direct the water away from yeah. the well and the well is for the town hall yes. on, only yeah okay yeah, yeah. okay yeah but because, not the church. Like, like you said, no. The church, church has their, their own, own okay. systems, <clears throat> and, and our property and the church's stops very close to this building. I mean, very close, and it, it's it's almost like there is the other driveway that goes out of here, which is really something to see. I mean, I've used it, but you don't want to use it in the winter at all. But it may take some changing around of things. It, it really might. Um, we never can tell. Um, Joe, is that something you see as a priority? Just, just ask him out of what do you mean? the parking lot and the well situation. Yeah, tying that in and then what they're trying to do is figure out what they were going to do with the firehouse. Mm -hmm. you know yeah well, I mean, uh, under this new um, study there that they they're possibly upgrade this, this this building itself in the complex mm -hmm. and move the library which would give us probably eight or ten years at which time it would probably be outgrown by the population so then you'd be looking for a brand new site right to put, start over put your state-of-the-art yeah with the ramps and the ADD and all of, all of the, everything that's yeah. included. And yeah. You're talking about million dollar complex. Well, so yeah. you'd, so you'd be, this, if you could get it for a million, right. you'd be lucky. Yeah. 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 So yeah. if you got, this is a, maybe a 10 year project here. Right. And then this, this building will be there. Yeah. Right. Oh, there'd be just too many, too many. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> Turn it into a rec center or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I do believe that um, reading this report, I had never thought of it, but but taking the um, taking the uh, old fire department. Um, hi, I, you guys are here for warrant and finance. Yes. We're just finishing up our capital improvement meeting, and we'll be starting with you uh, very soon. So, okay. Um, but in here, it was, you know, pretty much to take that down to the studs and then take care of the cinder block and turn it into the library. They'd have twice as much space. They'd have parking. You're talking about the, that, the, the, for the, the town, the town old, offices. No, no, the library is part of this building. Right. The old town, the old fire department, the cinder block one. They're saying, oh. move the library out of this building, put it in the cinder block building. Oh, right, and make this And the make library. that more office space. Okay, yeah. Um, I think it would be, because they also said we should have more bathrooms in here uh, and things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, because time is really going quickly today, um, I think, we really need to look at this. Mm -hmm. And um, just to go over a couple of things, the, of course, um, we have the utilities, uh, paving, curbing and parking, egress, and these are poor. 
but then not immediate. But then fair condition comes up really quickly after that. And building framing, the facade and the curtain wall, heating, air conditioning, and ventilation, some of the electrical work, common areas. Uh, I don't understand when they talk about tenant spaces. I'm wondering if they're just talking parking spaces in general. Sorry? I'm wondering if they're just talking parking spaces in general. Yeah, I think they're. Yeah, or if they're we have the talking strip about. strip here and then you've got. Right, here, exactly. Here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. But um, I think that's, uh, those are things we can look at. The other thing, um, well, on the municipal, we can take this and turn it into what this is, because we've even got money in here, and we can space it over the years. Going quickly to land use, one of the things that land use has said to me that they need is more filing cabinets. Filing cabinets, frankly, are something that he should be able to get out of his budget. I mean, if he has any money left over now, I think the other issue is where to put them if he does get them. But where to put them if he does get them, you know. And I think right now the way the rooms are configured, there's kind of a lot of wasted space. That large room when you walk into it, mm -hmm. that used to be a meeting room. So... Um, the, does his um, file cameras need to be locked? Yeah, locked fireproof. Up, fireproof, yeah. okay. Uh, but the biggest item is he wants a vehicle. Now, when, when he was hired by the town, having a vehicle was something not being, that was not part of it at all. Sure. And I can understand a few years later where he says he wants a vehicle. I believe it's our responsibility to put that in. And so, yeah, I agree. I think he should have a vehicle. It's so, not our thing. It's it's a want or a need, and it's, it's our purpose to put it forward and right. present Absolutely, it. Yeah. Exactly. So, so I would. Um, <clears throat> would one of you take on finding a a vehicle that is doesn't have to be new, but is you drive a truck? Mm -hmm. You drive a truck, mm -hmm. Joe. You drive a truck. Okay, someone go out and find me a decent truck that would work for what we're talking about because I don't know trucks, okay? So I need, you know, one of you guys to do it. And that doesn't mean you can sell us your truck, okay? Yeah. We'll get I have one for sale too. Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> we can ask him, ask him what, you know, what, what he Yeah, we should ask him. He, that's that's a great part. point, yeah. I, mean, I think that initially what he used, he wanted to upgrade his computers in the. The computers have been upgraded. Yeah, that's all when that's been done. Hmm? When? Within the last four months. Oh, really? Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, that's good. Yeah. Joe, you want to talk to him? Uh, you want to talk to Jason? Yeah, I've already talked to him. I know, he, no, no. He, he, Ask him what he wants for a truck. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that, that I would start there and then say, you know, you know, air conditioning might be out. I don't know. I'm just saying... <laughs> What, what he would prefer, because he's going back roads and wear and tear. And, like I said, you know. what, would he, what would he like for a truck, yeah. you know? What and they usually do in bigger towns is they take like a fire chief's car or a, a car that's been used, got some miles on it, and they retrofit it and, and they take it from there. That works, you know. But it would be a town vehicle anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I think the, any dealership would work with us too, like with a fleet, you know, fleet price or, yeah. or right. Oh yeah. Or lease or or use. Yeah. Right. Oh. Okay. Now the next one is the, is the transfer station. Are we all in agreement? We all know what Robin wants. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Pretty clear. The one meeting we had there when he was here to. Yeah, I think talk about uh, it all. so. Yeah. So that we can do. Um, we have to still to put the um, rec department on hold. We're getting more information on what they need mm -hmm. and what they want, but not enough for us to make an informed um, thing on that. Um, roads is 
would be we'll do that for our next meeting. Ro we'll focus on roads and rec next time we meet. Okay. Okay. Um, we have everything we need for the school because their budget just came through, mm -hmm. so we can just take that. And you're going to have a lot of. <laughs> are we, uh, work to do. So are we going to recommend uh -huh. uh, to move forward with well, the yeah. uh, freezer, the uh, refrigerator? Right, exactly. Uh, schools' needs are. Yeah, and okay. and there's one that even hasn't come up, and that's um, when you come out of the school, that sort of half circle, mm -hmm. the sidewalks, the ends of them are just yeah chopped falling off apart. Or, you know, yeah. they're just like so. If you're that's for a while. Yeah, and you know whether you're a mom with holding a kid and getting a kid or a couple of kids, you could easily go right off of that. Joyce, I'd be willing to take that on, um, maybe with uh, Wayne's help, but get um, a couple uh, concrete contractors out there because that's what it's going to take. You know, yeah. someone that's um, <clears throat> get get some bids uh, as far as repairing uh, repairing the sidewalks. Right. I think. Well, I think that Andy. Talk to Andy. Talk to Andy Brazier. Andy had already done that. He, he's kind of like. Oh, okay. He, he's he's very much aware of what. I don't know that he does he's a lot done of that. I've talked to him. Stuff. I don't know. And, and I'm, I don't I'm not sure who Andy is, walks. but what's it, Andy's last name? Brazier. Brazier. Okay. Yeah, just check in with him first. Check with him. He's okay. He 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 knows pretty much. He knew the boiler was going. He oh, well, he knows that, that stuff, but blood, but when I talked to Mr. Ross. Yeah, I, I, brought the, I, br I brought the sidewalk thing up to him. He wasn't aware of that. What do you mean so. falling off? Yeah. yeah. The edge of the sidewalk, you know how... No, I know what you mean, yeah. It should be square, right? Right. Okay. This is all worn off, so it's like yeah. this. It's a safety hazard. Yeah, it's yeah. a safety hazard is what it is. Yeah. So we look at this. We're going to start putting it together. It'll be this kind of form. And uh, so we can go on. And what we need to do besides those two is really and truly look at this and anything we can pull out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully by our next meeting, we're going to know how much money we do have. That was my next question. What are we going to find out? Um, I would say, uh, Mr. Long. Would you say two weeks, we probably have a, a good idea of what we do have and what the budget of the audit was? Yes. Two weeks? So two weeks. We'll have a much better. You know, it ain't money that you guys are going to ask for this year. Hopefully the warrant of the budget, warrant audit, was going to be all completed in two weeks. Right. So it ain't money like last year, you guys want to get 10000 We'll get it this year. year we do. Yeah. Get it in. By next week. Like now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if you guys want to leave, I want to follow on. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. So I think we've got a pretty full table now. So I would. Uh, so Dennis, just to, um, sorry, Joyce, um, no just to <clears throat> clarify. So these projects that we're, we've been working on for a while, um, your suggestion is that if we're going to ask for money for these specific projects to get that into the town before in the next couple of weeks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. we don't have that much time left okay. before because we want to do town meeting. Okay. And, um, yeah, so we need to have another meeting quickly. Okay. I yeah. believe for the Warren Finance Committee make their recommendations and the Slutman haven't laid out their budget yet. Right. Okay. So I, I, things are going to be rushed, I guess, on that line. Right. That's well, right. the other thing we can remember, <clears throat> if, if push comes to shove, and we have petitions and we have special town meetings. Always. Okay. We can do those things. So, anyway. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna, we're going to have these Mondays are working okay with everybody. Mm -hmm. 
sure. 17th and 24th. Hmm? Our next meeting, Joe? Okay. Works yes. for you? Yep. Good, okay. 17th and 24th at um, five o'clock. I just want to be very clear that I'm not speaking for this one and they can do whatever the devil they want. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. We, no we, we truly understand. No, I appreciate your comments because I, yep. I didn't know. You know. The time frame that we've been given. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So we, uh, we appreciate that. Yeah, very much. So, all right. So uh, then our biggest formality of the evening, can I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Thank you. And it is? I, I second that. Thank you. You're welcome. We're all in favor? In favor. Okay. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. <laughs>